August 31st, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 from the New Testament. From Paul and Silvanus and Timothy to the Church of the Thessalonians in God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace and peace to you from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We ought to thank God always for you, brothers and sisters, and rightly so, because your faith flourishes more and more, and the love of each one of you, all for one another, is ever greater. As a result, we ourselves boast about you in the churches of God, for your perseverance and faith in all the persecutions and afflictions you are enduring. This is evidence of God's righteous judgment, to make you worthy of the kingdom of God for which in fact you are suffering. For it is right for God to repay with affliction those who afflict you, and to you who are being afflicted to give rest together with us when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. With flaming fire he will mete out punishment on those who do not know God and do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus. They will undergo the penalty of eternal destruction away from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his strength, when he comes to be glorified among his saints and admired on that day among all who have believed. And you did, in fact, believe our testimony. And in this regard, we pray for you always that our God will make you worthy of his calling and fulfill by his power your every desire for goodness and every work of faith, that the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in you and you in him. According to the grace of our God, and the Lord Jesus Christ. God. So Paul's writing a letter to the Thessalonians to reassure them and comfort them because they're being persecuted. Can Paul write me a letter? <laughs> He's talking to them about that this will make them worthy of the kingdom of God for which you are suffering. And, and we do know throughout the Bible, it talks a lot about this, the strengthening of our mind and body and heart and way we live. We go through these trials and tribulations and persecutions. And because of what we learn in those situations, it makes us stronger for your kingdom. We're able to withstand more things. We're able to reflect your glory better. Uh, because of what you've done in our life, our weakness at those times becomes your glory. And it also adds to our testimony that if I've been through something, I'm able to relate to another person, a non-Christian, who went through something similar. And so I'm able to show how you worked in my life. So I know the persecutions that are in my life are amazing. It's you preparing me for things. Um, they may be small things that are coming this week. Uh, you may be preparing me for some big things that will happen in my life. But it's almost like going through uh, army training. I know uh, you are the God who commands armies. And, and perhaps some of it's that kind of training that we are going to go up against a lot of battles. We go up a lot against a lot of spiritual battles that we can't even see uh, day in and day out. So I know this persecution is so many crazy awesome things. And I should be really excited and joy filled. But God, it's kind of exhausting. <laughs> and I know you say that you'll give us your strength. But honestly, when you're being persecuted, I, and you know that I've begged for strength, especially these last couple of weeks, it just feels like it wears you down. Those words, those actions, physically, emotionally, just wear you down. And God, I am so incredibly thankful that you give me things like the Psalms where I hear people who went through something similar that I did and they are just crying out, God, I just can't take it anymore. And just like Paul's talking about the fact that you're still here is God's grace. And all those laments in the Psalms just turn around to this glorious Thanksgiving to you, God, that you do give us grace that all of the persecution that we are under will ultimately make us stronger for your kingdom. 
will ultimately help us in our walk with you, will ultimately be better for our relationship. God, it is so incredibly hard to see that sometimes when you're going through those darkest hours that always seem to, at least for me, come late at night and then no sleep happens and then I'm exhausted the next day. God, continue to work on me to turn these things over to you and to rely on your strength to give you this heavy yoke I seem to be carrying around of this persecution. I love learning lessons. I love watching our relationship go deeper and stronger. I love knowing more about you and your people and your word. And it has made me stronger as a, a disciple here on earth to go through all of those things. So God, help me and remind me of the joy that I should have when I'm going through that persecution. And to God, I again just plead and beg for your strength. I am physically exhausted. I can feel it in my body and people listening to this can probably hear it in my voice. I'm having a hard time getting things done because I'm so distracted. And I know with a focus on you, with my eyes on you, with, with my life headed in the direction of eternity, that those things will turn around. And I don't know the pieces I'm missing to turn it around this time. I know that you do. God, help me be obedient to whatever it is you're calling me to do. Allow me to take off the filters that aren't seeing those steps to get to where you need me to be. And if I have more persecution to go through, then so be it. But I do ask you for your promised strength for everyone listening to this video that they can get with your grace to the other side of that persecution. Learn what they need to be stronger for what they need to and in their weakness glorify you so that it is your kingdom, your grace, your mercy, your sovereignty that it is what is showing in our lives. Not the exhaustion from the persecution. Not the sorrowfulness not the not the negative whiny woe is me everything's wrong transform me like you did isaiah from woe is me to here i am lord send me send me into any persecution any suffering any affliction that you have that will make me better for you because i know with you god i can do all things I can make it through this persecution and the next one and the next one and I can grow stronger for you. God, there's so much work still to be done for your kingdom. So many people to still tell about how amazing you are, your love, your forgiveness, your almighty grace. Help me be strong, God. Do whatever you need to do to my life so that I can go out and fight that battle for you on behalf of you, whatever that looks like. I know with you, all things are possible. In your son's name I pray, amen.